Welcome back to Hormone Harmony, your go-to place for all things hormone health. So let's take a look at some of the common causes of hormone imbalance. There are many different things that can throw the endocrine system off, but let's take a look at some of the common reasons. Probably most commonly is stress. The stress response is important for saving our lives. So for example, if you're in a life-threatening situation, then you need your stress hormones to be able to save your life. The thing is, we're not often in life-threatening situations, but our body interprets common things that may stress us out as life-threatening situations. And so our stress response is continuously triggered. So constant long-term chronic stress can increase your stress hormones and this can have a negative impact on your general health, but it can also impact some of your other hormones. For example, cortisol imbalance can trigger an imbalance in your estrogen and progesterone level. Our diet can also lead to hormone imbalance. Consuming lots of sugary foods as well as lots of processed foods can cause blood sugar imbalances and this can lead to other imbalances in our other hormones. Toxins in our environment can also lead to hormone imbalance. We are bombarded by chemicals in our environment on a daily basis, from our beauty products to the air we breathe to plastics that we use for our food. Some of these chemicals can mimic or even block our own body's hormones and that can lead to hormone imbalance. And a lack of sleep can also lead to hormone imbalance. So your body does a lot of repair work and hormone regulation when you are sleeping. And if you're not getting good quality sleep, then your hormone health can suffer. These are just some of the things that may impact our hormone health. And unfortunately, as women, we are a lot more affected by these factors. That's because as women, our reproductive cycle is so delicately balanced and the menstrual cycle is super dynamic and it changes at different phases in our life. From puberty and the onset of menstruation to pregnancy and perimenopause, menopause and beyond, our hormone cycles are ever-changing. These natural shifts and changes, together with some of the stresses that I've mentioned, it can be very complicated to achieve hormone balance, especially in the world that we live in. But the good news is that once you are aware of these factors and the things that may be impacting you, there are lots of things that you can do to support your hormone health. So next in the series, we're going to be talking about the signs of hormone imbalance. So if you're dealing with PMS, fatigue, weight fluctuations, and you're not sure what's going on, then don't forget to follow along. Drop me any questions in the comments and I'll see you next time.